Hey Southwest, hope you're going to have a great Friday. Today is AMI day 25 and today's assignment has been modified from the version on the paper online packet. Here are uh, some graphs uh, representing the three linear relationships. These relationships could also be represented with equations. So we're going to just kind of talk about lines and graphing lines and solutions to lines and I'm going to do this on Desmos. So uh, we've been telling you to use Desmos quite a bit in AMI for different problems. And I kind of just want to go over some things on Desmos. So you can always just like type the question in. So like, for instance, Y equals to X. When you do that, it automatically grabs it for you. So this is the green line over here. And this green line has, it shows it crosses at zero. So um, X equals zero here. Across to the origin doesn't have a y intercept here like number two line does because it is crossing the intercept at four. So when I look at this line, you can see it crosses the y axis at four. So that makes our y is at four is our y intercept. Our three is our slope. And so by uh, looking at green, the green line and the blue line, these are two equations that eventually will cross. If I can zoom out. You can see down here that they will eventually cross if you take your um, thing and zoom out some. So if I click on this, you can see right here, if I click on this point, they uh, intersect at negative four and negative eight. So that makes it a solution to both equations. I thought like um, a problem that we did last week when we put negative four has X into our problem, we'll get out the answer y negative eight back. And so like, for instance, two times negative four is negative eight, so y equals negative eight, all right? So that gives us the solution to this equation. Just like if I put negative four into this problem, negative four is our x, so negative three times negative four is negative 12, negative 12 plus four gives us eight. So they both have the solution of negative four, negative eight. All right, so kind of understanding what it means for a solution. When two lines cross, we have our green line and our blue line. When these two lines cross, where they cross at, that is a solution. So some of the questions that are asked on today's assignment is whether that is a solution or not. Um, throwing in another equation. So if I have a half X minus two, you can see that it's got some points already on here. So a solution to this blue line, if I was just looking at the blue, so the three X plus four and the equation one half X minus two, a solution to that would be negative 2.4 and negative 3.2. That would make them both correct. When you put those numbers in X and Y into your equation, you'd both, you would get a correct solution for both of them. Uh, if you look at this, where it purple the green here, the green and the purple, they cross right here at negative 1.333 as your X and then your Y is negative 2.667. Now those are not pretty numbers, but they are crossing there. That's why it's really nice to have decimals to type in the thing and it tells you where they meet at. Um, another thing that we talk about in today's assignment is whether a point is a solution. So if it gives you a point, say if I said just making up a number, if I have point two zero, at, you can see this point here, two zero, this black dot, it is not touching any of our lines here. So this is not a solution to any of these points, any of these lines graphed. So if it was asking that particular question, then you have to find that point to zero and if it doesn't if it touches a line somewhere then that would be a solution so if i had um let's type in another point let's say um one two you can see that one two it falls on this green line so it is, is a solution for two x we can come up with some other solutions that fall on that green line so another solution that would be two four another solution for that green line Right. Let's do this again. Two, four. Okay. Um. Let's see. Zero, zero is a solution for that for the green line. I can type. <laughs> okay. 
And so you can have so many solutions. Solutions are anything that falls on that line. So I gave you three solutions that came on this line. I can even tell you these decimal values if you wanted to go in there. Those are all solutions to that line. Okay. Um, something else. What if you just had something like y equals 0 0.5? What does that look like, Graph? Let's zoom back. Oh, well, maybe if I type it in right. Y, let's not do things anymore. Maybe that'll help. Go back out. Y equals 0 0.5. Enter. And you can see here, let's zoom in a little bit that this line, if you zoom in some more, that it hits, it's just a horizontal line that goes across our graph. That is what it looks like for y equals 0 0.5. What if you had x equals 2, maybe? x equals 2. That is a, let's see, a vertical line. A vertical line at x equals 2, and it goes straight up and down in a vertical line. That's what it looks like when you have vertical and horizontal lines. Um. I think that's all we're just going to talk about. So just knowing that, where, what, what does it mean to have a solution? Um, what does it mean when they meet, that they both meet that criteria for like this one? Are they both, is the solution to that? And looking back at our question, you just have to scroll through. And now we did take away, give you only just four questions answered. And then we made the last four challenge problems. So just read through it. Tell me if it's true or false, and then tell me why you think it's true or false. So give a reasoning, because explain your reasoning, and I hope you uh, hope this helps, and I hope you have a great day, Southwest.